All right. So uh, I just spent top dollar hiring this guy to play Van Halen's Eruption for the intro. So uh, let's kick it off. Well, that really was something. Uh, it's quite amazing the amount of talent that you can buy for just $500 these days. Incredible stuff. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description for anyone who's interested in checking out that guy's channel. Alright, so in the last video, uh, I was speaking a lot about how I think smartphones are going to be utilised uh, for greater levels of globalist control and wage slavery in the future. And I also think the smartphones will largely be used as a control system that people can be easily identified as dissidents and cut out of the system, which makes for levels of control that have been previously impossible. So we know that Many people who uh, are dissident voices on the internet have had their jobs cancelled. They've been uh, had their bank accounts cancelled. Their income streams, uh, methods of payment such as PayPal. Some people have lost their websites, and I think this is sort of a taste of things to come. But I think it'll be a lot easier. Uh, to cut people out of the system in the future and it will also be a lot more detrimental to the people who get cut out as they find they will not be able to use public services, enter public buildings and they may not even be able to buy groceries. So yeah, I think uh, smartphones is how they will do that and I think there is absolutely no one talking about this and there's absolutely no resistance to this. I would say that out of everyone listening to this right now, I'm probably the only person who does not have a smartphone or a Facebook account. I imagine pretty much everyone, maybe with a 1% uh, outliers, that do not have either a smartphone or a Facebook account or something like that. I guess I have YouTube, but that's it. So recently, uh, I, the main ad on YouTube was an ad for uh, Google Pay teaming up with Woolworths, which is one of Australia's largest supermarkets. They provide everything to do with food items and goods. The fresh food people, as they call themselves. Well, just like every other business, it seems, they have partnered up with a massive globalist corporation like Google, or Apple or something like that and now people will be paying for groceries using their smartphone and Google Pay. Now I'm a bit bothered by this uh, all these local businesses giving their cust or their employee info and all they've sort of handed their power over to these globalist corporations and I see this happening everywhere. I recently got an email from my 
real estate agent that that I can deal with them through an app now called Our Tenant, and that would give globalist corporations access to all their uh, tenant data. That would mean that they know where everyone lives and they have access to people dealing with real estate agents. There are Uber drivers now have to upload a photo of their face once a week and they operate through their smartphone entirely. And it seems all forms of businesses and public institutions and everything is getting an app which people can use for it through their smartphone. And I feel like one day you're going to have to use these apps as it will be the only way to buy things and take part in the public system at all. This has been uh, talked about by many people, like whistleblowers within the system, that this is the plan. Uh, Aaron Russo being one of the most obvious examples who said that he spoke to a Rothschild directly who told him that this is what the future was going to be. And Aaron Russo is a Hollywood insider, a film producer, who decided to inform the public. I suggest if you don't know about Aaron Russo, you should check out his interview with Alex Jones. It will certainly shed some light on the ideas that I'm speaking about today. So basically these these ideas have to be sold to the public, this has to be normalised to the point of acceptance of basically everyone, and it would seem that this will be achieved. I don't think there will be any resistance to this, I think within the next few years to decade everyone will be doing everything with their smartphones. Many of them are already. And yeah, I'm not looking forward to that at all. I do not want to take a part in this, but if everyone else does, what the fuck can you do? You either have to be incredibly intelligent and work your way around the system, or you're going to be fucked. You're going to have to join up and sign up to this. But I guess we'll see. I <laughs> <laughs> come from water. <laughs> <laughs> so in this exact ad that I saw linking Google Pay to Woolworths, um, I noticed a few things about the advertisement that I thought I would like to shed some light on. Obviously the first things you notice are the kindergarten-like uh, images and colours that Google uses uh, to present themselves as this incredibly friendly, neutral, happy all that, like your, your best friend and it's all childish and fun. That's how Google presents itself. Clean cut, uh, you know, all wholesome, good, lighthearted, your best friend, all bubbly and happy, all that stuff. And then there's this really happy music, happy imagery. But I think what people will miss about this ad, like I think people understand that happy music is to put people in a mindset that this is a good thing, this is all happy, this is something to get excited about, this is something, this is a product to start using immediately and with much enthusiasm. Same with the colourful imagery and the childish graphics. But I think what people miss is the subtext of this ad and uh, it's Freudian angle, if you will, the subtext of this ad that appeals to the Freudian psychology of humans, the in the way that Freud's protege Edward Bernays um, used the base drives and desires of humans to link them to products so that people's, the very psychology and dri uh, natural drives of humans are projected onto products so that humans can get a payoff on a spiritual and psychological and emotional level by 
parting with cash to buy products. And the Edward Bernays method is still basically how all modern advertising is used to essentially use the way that people are programmed against them to manipulate them, sidestep their intellect directly into their emotions and their sex drive and things of that nature, reproduction, survival, comfort, success. Link all of these things to products that people can purchase. They're essentially purchasing uh, reward emotions and they are purchasing happiness or something like that. Um, <clears throat> so the I would like to play the ad and then I will go through it and explain what I see as the subtext. First of all, we have two characters who seem very happy, and they are meeting with each other. Now, one of these characters looks a bit more masculine, a bit more like a penis, and the other character is slightly in the shape of a vagina. Now, this is very subtle, but it is nonetheless there, and you'll notice the character on the right is an eggplant. The eggplant is constantly used, the eggplant emoji is constantly used in comments to represent a penis. So I think, uh, I'm not stretching too far to show that one of these is a penis, the other is a vagina. And they're very happy to meet each other. So this would be, uh, boy meets girl and there's some kind of a connection, a mutual connection formed. Uh, that can be summed up in the old story, boy meets girl in park, boy parks meet in girl. Alright, then we have someone holding their mobile phone with Google Pay and they touch or tap the pay system. And what happens when they touch the pay system? There's physical contact and then... Well, there's this party off to the side. And first of all, I will point out what exactly is going on here. So we see a selection of food items. We see a zucchini or a cucumber, uh, a carrot or something in the background that's basically the shape of that vagina character that was in the previous slide. We have some eggs and milk. And in the background, you can see what look like casino chips or something similar flying up into the air. Well, I can tell you it's clear to me exactly what's going on here. This is a very symbolic and not even very well hidden uh, simulation of the sex act. So uh, I'll just show a few clips here. You can see that the zucchini starts off hidden behind the eggs, the little happy eggs down there. And the zucchini rises to the occasion, if you will as the video moves forward. So now you have the fully erect zucchini with its little egg testicles, which is pretty fucking obvious. I mean, come on, that's not by accident. Then what else do we have here? We have milk, the vagina character and these eggs. So what's happening here is we have a penis with egg balls. We have a vagina right next to it. We have milk, which is symbolic of boobs, I don't think that's too much of a stretch. So basically it's all there. We have a vagina, we have a, a penis with balls. We have eggs, which would be related to a female eggs and reproduction and the sex act. And we have boobs. It's all there. And as for these casino chips flying in the background, well, that is a simulation of the orgasm as it flies above the zucchini. Uh, it's a symbolic sex act right there so there is a payoff when you pay at google pay you have an orgasm and everything's great or at least that's what's being suggested here also the orgasm is a bunch of casino chips or money or something representing that so it's the idea that there's money there's wealth there's reproduction there's sex it's all happening all your drives are being met by using Google Pay. 
And then you just tap again and... Wow, everyone's so excited. Look at this, they can't believe it. Everyone's happy and we have a one very cool zucchini. Alright, now we cut to the next scene where we have a wallet. A yellow wallet which I believe is the same shade of yellow that they used on the vagina character at the start of the video. I would have to go back and check that but uh, I believe that would be correct if you go and check. So we have a wallet with these cards coming out of it and that would be after the sex act is performed the woman is now pregnant and she gives birth to these credit cards which then go into the Google Pay phone. So now you have the fully completed subtext that you have. Boy meets girl, uh, they, there is a connection, then they perform a sex act, the woman gets pregnant and she gives birth and all this uh, has somehow something to do with Google Pay. But no, no, no. You are being bernazed. You are being freuded. You are being uh, manipulated here using your base drives. And I think if you look in the background there, you'll see that this is all happening in some sort of womb, this very faded uh, ellipse in the background. And I'm not exactly sure what that is supposed to be in the background, but you do get a sense of like, uh, there could be boobs up the top, there could be like some, you know, there's a lot of, I'm getting a real feminine, pregnant vibe from all this. Uh, but what do you think? Alright, now we're all happy. The, the happy wallet has just given birth and all is good in the hood. Use Google Pay. Now... <clears throat> So, I just thought that would be interesting to show people some of the uh, the methods that advertisers use. I, I think some people can pick up on this stuff, but I think the overwhelming majority of people are completely oblivious to the techniques used by advertising. And therefore, they are completely subject to it and unaware of its effects. But anyway, I see these apps becoming a real thing of the future and I really don't like it. I don't want to use these fucking things. I don't want a smartphone. But I guess we'll see. Maybe there will be a black market in fucking fake accounts and strange cryptocurrencies and that's how we'll uh, be able to exist in the future without being a complete fucking wage slave faggot who... Uh, has all his details in Google's archives and he can be cut out of the system at any time for any reason and there's nothing he can do about it. I don't think we want to live in a world like that where people sell themselves out for convenience. Is that really what we want to do? Well, I think it is. Anyway, this has been Apple in your slumber coming to you from a undisclosed location deep within the heart of New Delhi, Beijing. Here at the forefront of celebrating cultural diversity. Until next time, fuck off. Alright. <laughs>